Dearest viewer, allow me to spread your ears abreast this narrative toil. We set our stage in the vacuous offices of ViewTube.com, the largest online video streaming consortium in the galaxy. It is a tale of three heirs to a fortune, and by proxy, the misfortune that follows. What you are about to witness will likely disappoint you. But as Aristotle once spoke, I'm on the right track, baby. I was born this way. Thus, wistfully, and with vague ennui, I solemnly welcome you all to the legend of clickbait, the show. No sleeping on the job, Brad. Jesus, Elton, I thought you were your dad. Uh, you know what they say. Work fast or die hard. Is that my chocolate milk? You were out of coffee. Don't you have some work to be doing here, not around me? No. Nope. One of the many perks when your dad is the boss. You certainly seem to be taking the news well. You mean Gary Coleman? Yeah, I'm over it. I'm not talking about Gary Coleman's death, though. Wait, Gary Coleman died? You seriously haven't heard from your dad? My dad killed Gary Coleman? <laughs> oh. Oh my god, this is so delicious. Oh, um. Your dad's writing you out of the will, Elton. He's cutting you off. What? It says here. I am hereby removing my three children as heirs to the YouTube fortune. I will no longer support their frivolous spending. They will have to compete to earn their inheritance. What does he mean, compete? Looks like you have to make it big on YouTube. One million subscribers, but uh, whoever gets their first wins it all. But I just got used to living my entire life with money. How am I supposed to win? You don't. Joplin. I'm gonna get that fortune, Elton, and I'd rather not have to worry about embarrassing you. Joplin, you are just as inept as me. What chance do you possibly have? I have the whole trends analysis team working for me. They say I'm the likeliest candidate. Oh, that's why nobody's here today. Weird. What did you think was happening? I thought it was Take Your Daughter to Work Day. Why would you miss work on Take Your Daughter to Work Day? Maybe we've hired a bunch of people's daughters. Okay, stay out of this, Elton. If you know what's good for you, I already have enough to worry about with Joel. You should be worried. <laughs> Joel. Uh-oh. I created this website with Father. I know it inside and out. Wait, how long have you guys known about this? One of my many spy pigeons intercepted a telegram for Father. <laughs> oh. Also, there's been a memo on the bulletin board since, like, <laughs> last Monday. But you're a week ahead of me. That's not fair. This isn't about fair! Unless you're talking about the company street fair outside. <gasps> oh my god, that's today. Oh, we have to hurry before they take away the puppy boxes. Oh my god, yay! But, but, what am I supposed to do? Just do what you always do, Elton. Mooch off of other people's good ideas. <laughs> that's a good idea. What is? Somebody get me Gary Coleman. He's been dead for like eight years, Elton. Then I'm out of ideas. God. Oh shit! Oh shit! God. Uh. Thank you. Yeah, just shove him in there. Yeah. Thank you. What? You know, I can buy and dress whatever I like, okay, pal? <laughs> you know, I'm very comfortable in this. I might need all these. You don't know what kind of life I lead. I have a good idea the kind of life you lead. I knew I should have gotten a smaller box. Hmm. <sighs> 
I don't mooch off of other people's good ideas. Spencer Scylla, thank you for applying to our internship program here at Flashfeed. I could be original. Unfortunately, we are trying to reach a younger audience and we feel your perspective is older than desired. Let's try. You also failed to meet the required amount of Twitter followers. <sighs> Not so bad. I'm 23 and I'm already too old. Okay. Met up with my sister at a place down by the shore. She asked me if I missed her. I said not anymore And I'm tired of all these fixtures And I'm tired of all the lies When they showed me all the pictures I could not believe my eyes Who are you? I don't know anymore Who are you supposed to be? Hello there, Spencer. My name is Elton Tube, and I'm here to offer you a job. Who are you, and what are you doing in my apartment? Well, I've said about two things thus far, both of which have already answered your questions. No! Don't use that. That looks expensive. Yeah, you know what? This has been in the family for a while. Okay, look, take whatever you want. Just please don't hurt me. Wait, really? Cool. I'll be right back. Oh, man, you have chocolate milk! No, no, don't take that! That's my last one! Well, you said the thing about the thing. I mean, yeah, you can rough me up a little bit. Just don't take my chocolate milk. Oh, shit, that reminds me. I made you breakfast. You were out of cereal? How did you get in here? Your doorman let me in. I don't have a doorman. Oh, that's probably why he took your TV, then. No! Oh, my TV! I just need to sit and process some stuff for a minute. I need your help, Spencer. I want you to be my writer. How do you know all this about me? My name, where I live, what I do? Well, you gave it to us when you signed on last night. You mean you work for YouTube? Well, more or less. My parents invented the website, so me and my siblings are heirs to the Tube family fortune. And you picked me out of all the people that you could have worked with. Well, your bio said we'll work for validation, so. Yeah, that's, that's right. So, what is it exactly that you're offering me? You write my videos. I pick the theme, you get free domain over everything else. At the end of the run, you get 0.001% of the inheritance. That sounds like very little. Um... Take a look at this. One dollar. Oh, sorry, you hold it upside down. Oh. Holy shit! In the meantime, I will cover the costs of living. This is crazy. Wait, does that mean you'll work with me? Yes! This is crazy, but yes! Okay, okay, this is great, this is great. We get to work right away. Every second wasted, my brother and sister start getting closer to taking all the money to themselves. So this is all just one big competition to you. 
Everything's a competition, Spencer. That's why they call it the human race. Oh. Now, the next step is to get all our crew together. Okay, uh, great. I'll just get changed and then... Or not. That's cool, too. Elton, what are we doing in a park? We're looking for a cinematographer. You can't have a video without someone to film it. Well, why don't you just find someone off of YouTube like you did with me? Well, Spencer, the best cinematographers are the ones that no one has discovered yet. So how are we supposed to find one Well, we then? keep our eyes open and we treat everyone with dignity and we're... Oh. Ah, watch your ass, trash boy! Yeah. Whatever happened to dignity and respect? I suck touchstone, you swine! Hey, come down, dickhead! We're trying to respect you! Oh, okay, I'm not seeing you. Hey, listen here, buddy! I don't speak sexy homeless. Let's not get in a fight with the homeless guy, okay? I'm, I'm not homeless! I live inside of my work! I'm, I'm so sorry, Jacques. What, what is it you do? What? I spend most of my time being sexy, but at the moment I'm unemployed. All right. Well, it was it was so nice meeting you, really. But, um, wait. But we got... What is that? My ass. This is my camera. It is the lens through which I see the world. It is my only possession. It is my heart. Give me that. You know, I have nothing. Hey, this is actually pretty good. I like to record the ripples of the reservoir and the passing of particularly interesting clouds. <gasps> Holy shit! It is surprisingly easy to fit a woman's foot in the mouth of a horse. That is disgusting. Yeah, this is absolutely unacceptable. Can you send this to me? For 20 francs, I can have a pregnant raccoon deliver in a sneak card. What if I offer you a job instead? Would you like to be my cinematographer? Wait, what? I've made up my mind. Jacques, we would love to have you. Meet us at this address at 7 o'clock. If that moon is full and bright, I will be there. I'll probably order a pizza or something. Okay, then count on me being there. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it was great meeting you, Jacques. <laughs> All right, see you later. See, doesn't that feel good? We did a good thing. He's filming us. We're walking away. One of you should take off your clothes. Wait. We've got one. What? Elton, slow down. We're looking for an editor. They are ruthless and disappear after a minute's notice. Spencer! This is someone willing to do all of the hard work without any of the creative authority or recognition. They are one in a million. And they should be right here. Damn it, there's nobody here. What about her? Uh, I don't know about her. Why not? Why doesn't her, go why doesn't her wheelchair have any of the big wheels? Just go just go okay, what we got going on over here? Hot wheels. Well, I really didn't want to have to do this, but. Oh, we're just looking for somebody. Have you seen anyone around here? Oh, well, in that case, I've been out here petitioning for the last few hours and I haven't seen anyone. What are you petitioning for? Gay rights. Oh, cool. For dogs. Hmm? Gay rights for dogs? Yeah, I have two dogs and they're gay and I just want them to get married. How do you know they're gay? Well, they're constantly sharing their personality quizzes on Facebook. Oh, that's pretty gay. They also hump each other and they're both boys. Somehow less gay. So what was getting all those views on your phone? Uh, I don't know if it's what you guys were talking about, but I did just upload my campaign video. Of course, gay rights for dogs would be gold on YouTube. That means you're our editor. Uh, well, can we see your video first? Yeah, sure, but... I don't think it's all that good. I am a cowboy. More like a good boy. You varmint. Have sexual relations with me. I consent. I wish I knew how to bark with you. Bark. We are on a mountain. Let's get married. But we are gay. So. But we are dogs. So. Gay dogs cannot be married. This is a real problem and should be addressed. Please call your local congress person. Bark. Huh. I'm hoping to move into a big budget picture soon to promote my message. Well, Ari, would you like to work with us? Sure, as long as we support gay rights for dogs. Sure thing. And not for people. Say what now? Yeah, I just don't think people should be gay. Just dogs, specifically my dogs. This sounds like a problem for another day. You are hired. Meet us at that address at 7 o'clock. And don't be late, you. <laughs> I'm seeing uh, great meet you, Ari. Elton. 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 151. 152. Brad. 154. Brad. 
this. Brad, Brad, stop. Stop counting the paper clips. This is my actual job. Your dad pays me to count the paper clips. I need you to help me decide between these two pictures. Okay, I need to pick an image for my promotional campaign. That's the same picture. Of course you would say that. Joplin, they're both the same exact picture. Okay, well what about these two? That's not even you, it's Willem Dafoe! Ugh, I'll just ask Elton! Yeah, good luck finding him. What do you mean? I don't know. He's trying to go get a film crew. It's something about copying people like he is and not telling Jop. Oh shit. Why didn't you stop him? I told everyone not to let him get excited about this. I want nothing to do with any of this. You're all crazy. Did you just steal my hair? <laughs> it's not stealing if it's for science. <laughs> I'm gonna go stress eat! Shit -faced. So, that's the plan. Any questions? Yes, Spencer. You didn't explain anything. Well, uh, well, we see a video, we copy it, everybody watches our copy, and then we win. Right, I see the diagram, but you didn't explain how. Yes, all right. What's a poplar video? A poplar is a kind of tree. Um, I didn't mean to write that, sorry. I know some belly sexy please. No bark or bite. Yes, Ari. Yeah, who's this guy? Whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa. He, he was not there before. Hey, how's it going? I'm Merce. Okay, uh, are we done with questions? Where's the pizza? How did this guy get in here? I saw the window was open. Like the vibe, I thought I'd check it out. We're on the sixth floor. Yeah. <laughs> Shock, you have a question. Wait, oui, is there a dress code? Do you know this guy? Spencer, he climbed in through the window, trying to keep up. Jacques, let's try and keep things business casual. We oui, is taste for nudity business casual? Yes, all right. Did we order the pizza? Uh, uh, what if it isn't taste for it? What is going on? What are we doing? More important question, how are we doing? Did you order the pizza? Oh, speak of the devil, here it is. I was not speaking. <laughs> Classic shock. Pizza girl, I know that rain or shine. You'll be coming my way. I get hungry sometimes. So I'll order away. Uh, 2850. Uh, so sorry, sorry. Could you just hang on one second? Spencer! Okay, you need to convince this girl to work with us. What? Why? I have fallen in love with her. With the pizza girl? I can't explain it either, but I know this is something real. Every time I look at her, music starts playing. Look. Pizza girl. Oh my god, I've got to stop watching that scene from Titanic. What? Ah, mm, yeah, uh, I, I'll help you. Sure. Okay, yes. Whatever. Thank you. You're the best. All right. <clears throat> so, you uh, deliver pizza, huh? Well, I'm trying to deliver yours. Did you ever want to do anything else? Like what? Like, make videos or something. I don't... With you? Well, yeah. Is this like a sex thing? It could be! What? No! I'm totally down. I'm not hitting on you. At least I don't think I am. Uh, I'm trying to offer you a job. Do you want to be in these videos we're making? Does it pay? Yeah, like surprisingly well. Yeah, I'll do it. Really? Just like that? Yeah, my boss just texted me and said I'm fired because I'm taking too long. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. You're gay. Yeah. Hey, uh, do you know where my paper clips are? Did you hear? Company's upgrading. Staplers are nothing, baby. I thought we were worried about leaving staplers around out. Well, everything's different now that father's not coddling us anymore. Okay, but what's my job then? I don't know. Worst case scenario, you get fired. <laughs> That's reassuring. Oh, also best case scenario, you get fired because you've been fired. What? Uh, yeah. Didn't you see the memo on the bulletin board? Uh, oh my 
my god. What am I gonna do? Well, I hear that some people really enjoy gardening. Hey, did Elton take your last chocolate milk? Your family has taken everything from me. Damn it, I was saving that for myself. How am I gonna get another paying job like this? My only experience is, is counting paper clips. Are you sure you don't have any more chocolate milk? Okay. Hey guys, this is... Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Mackenzie! Oh my gosh, it's so great to finally meet you again. Anyway, I can't wait to work. Why don't you just, why don't you just come on in? Why don't... Thank you. Don't thank me yet. Look at what we did today. You and me, we put together a real team. So do you guys like all know each other? Seems like we're all just random people off the street. Wait, really? Yes. You know, I really couldn't have done this without you. Thank you, but I didn't do anything. I could barely keep up with you all day. No, it's true. I really couldn't have done it without you. You are invaluable, Spencer. Who's that? I don't know. I'm not expecting anyone. So, did we... Decide what Merce is gonna do? Uh, my cousin once dated Michael Buble, if that helps. Did one of you guys order something? Oui. That's for me. What did you order? It's your SD card. Why is it in such a big box? Why is it so big? Elton, Tube is a loser with a rich dad So he found some other losers who had his bad And he asked his dad what's it gonna take to get that money that I owe His dad just simply said, clickbait the show And so they went and made clickbait the show Yeah, I guess I didn't have that much stuff to pack up after all. Hey, pal. Uh, hey, Glenn. You, uh, you come to see me all for... Nope. I got this for you. Straight uh, from Mr. Tube's desk. Uh, uh, what is it? You've been reassigned. Uh, well, uh, so I'm not fired? Nope. But you got a new boss. over.